my next guest has won multiple Grammys and Emmy, and he is the author of the children's book, I Love You Too. Please welcome Ziggy Marley. <laughs> I learned something about you today. Well, I learned a lot about you today, but I learned something about you today I don't think I knew. We all have hobbies, but you love to garden. You have a garden? Yeah. yeah. Really? And what do you raise in your garden? <laughs> yeah. Some good stuff. Yeah, the answer's gonna <laughs> surprise you all. What all's there? We have, we have potato, we have tomato, we have beans, we have aloe vera. So do you actually use your vegetables to make dinner? Yeah, yeah, man. Tastes so good, tastes much better than the supermarket stuff. Really? Yeah. And uh, I would assume, like you mentioned aloe vera, if you have a cut or a scrape, yeah. you can pop an aloe vera plate yeah. open and use it, right? Yeah, once someone got burnt in the kitchen and aloe vera was right there. Boom. Fresh aloe vera. Fresh, real aloe vera. From the yard. It's true. Um, from the garden. Yes. You know, whenever I uh, discuss the aloe vera plant, I always think about the legalization of marijuana. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's transition <laughs> night here at the Arts <laughs> Center Hall Show. Um, let's talk about the yeah. legalization of marijuana. What state are you living in right now? Cali. Cali, so you're... Oh. <laughs> We've come a long way yeah. since you and I, as younger men, were down the street Remember, at Paraguay. Yeah, yeah. It's changed. Um, it is. And you met Barack Obama. Yeah, I met the president, yes. It was, it was good. It was for the Easter egg roll mm -hmm. um, a few years ago. And cool, you, cool, cool, you. Man. What, what did you all talk about? And, and did you mention marijuana to him? <laughs> no, I, I think he already knew what's up with that. So. <laughs> What's up, you know? <laughs> he's kind of, kind of, I won't say in the middle, but he's yeah. not against it because uh, he kind of cooled the feds out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but he ain't like, here, you know. He, Michelle, you know, he. Yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you got the feeling he's pro marijuana in his heart. Yeah, I, think, I think most of us know the truth and we know that the plant. It's a natural plant which nature has provided us for many different uses. Smoking is one of them, but it's not the only use. Ah, yeah. Yes, yes. Do you remember the moment when you realized the huge magnitude, the totality of who your dad was? How old were you when you realized, that's my dad and he's Bob? Um. <laughs> and I ask you that because I talked to uh, Martin Luther King's daughter about that, and I talk, I've talked to uh, uh, Malcolm X's daughter about that. That, you know. Well, I think it's a continuous um, kind of realization. It's a continuous, as we travel the world, the, the, the thing that impacts us most is the amount of love we get because of mm -hmm. what Bob has done, my father has done. And that is where you know, that is when you know um, how, how big he is. It's not the popularity, but how much love people give him because of what his music has done for them. So that, that impact, um, as, we, as the generations come and people, you know, come up, is the more love. It's just always love. It's just so much love. Yeah. Yeah. Was there ever a moment when you thought about doing anything else other than music? Well, music is one aspect, yeah. I think we, want, we have other aspects of ourselves that we like to explore, you know, writing, um, gardening, I love gardening. Um, also... <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, yeah, creativ creativity is not limited to just music side, but mu music is our first love. Yeah, this is very creative. I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what made you decide to pen this? Well, this was penned um, right after going into the kitchen one day. And my daughter, she was coloring in her book. She was like three years old at the time. 
and out of nowhere, which is what, what kind of struck me, she just said, I love you. Mm -hmm. For no reason, for, she just looked at me and said, I love you. And I said, oh, I love you too. And so um, we started creating the words for this. The, the, it was a song from, in the family time record, in the kids record, and it became a book. No one is just an expression of love. Yeah, and, and we got to talk about Fly Rasta. Yeah, Fly Rasta. That's the title <laughs> of the new project. Yeah. What makes it different than your music in the past? What are you trying to focus on here? Well, I think what, what makes it different is the, is the amount of knowledge I've gained um, through all my experiences put into the record. And we are, we are much more adventurous on this record musically. We're, we're trying to let whatever comes into my imagination as, oh, I'm doing a song and I, I want to use this sound. I use it. There's no limits. There's, no, there's nothing like, oh, but it's reggae, so I cannot put that sound because that sound doesn't belong in reggae. If I can imagine it, I, I must be able to put it into the music. It's art, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. in the past, have you handcuffed yourself with projects and kept them in a certain range? Well, it's always in your head. It's all, and I've, I've been able to always not let it hinder me. But there's always something there that speaks. And if you listen to it, you put yourself in the box, in the prison. But I don't listen to it. Good, good. <laughs> we will buy Fly Rasta.